Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aporia. Today's video is a short aquascaping video. This video is in addition to the previous video that I did of how to aquascape my innovative Nouveau 40 right behind me with Pucani Rocks. And briefly, I'll explain some things that I documented on the previous video. What I did was that I showed, as I was going to do the aquascape, how I put all the rocks out here, you know, to select from and get in front of the tank and look and see uh, what are the proper pieces. Well, I actually did the aquascape, but since it's dry rock, the advantages that you have with these rocks is that you can play around with them, you can take your time, and I noticed that there's a section on the lower right hand corner where I could add another one or two rocks and towards the back. So this is the purpose of this uh, video. It's like an extension of the previous video that I did. And here uh, on this uh, towel, as you notice, I have the remaining little uh, pieces of the Pucani rocks. These are the ones that I'm going to look at and see which I'm going to pick to make like another cave on the lower right hand side. And of course, what am I going to use? I'm going to use the putty, the epoxy putty by Two Little Fishes. And here's uh, plastic knife that I used to cut the pieces and all that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go to the tank and I'm, I'm going to pick uh, some of these rocks and see what the effect would be and then I'm going to put them together with the epoxy. And like I did on my previous video then I'm going to show you the uh, first I'm, I'm going to shoot a little video of how it looks now. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick maybe one or two rocks and I'm going to show you the after effects and how I use the epoxy. So let's go to the tank. Okay, and here we are on the front of the tank. Now, this is how it looks now. This is the aquascaping that I did. If you follow me and you saw my previous video, this is what you saw. Now, here's what I'm planning. As I looked at it and looked at it, if you see here, this, this, this rock here, okay, what I'm planning is to do something different here on this section and create another cave here. So that's what I was uh, talking about when it came to this addition or modification, shall we call it, of the aquascape. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick the two rocks, and I'm going to do it, and then afterwards I'll show you the end product and how I put them together. So hold on. Okay, as you notice, this little rock that was here, I went ahead and I took it out. And here's what I came up with. Okay, this piece that I have there, I thought it'd be good if I go ahead, and if you notice the con, I mean, I don't know if you can see it there, but this contour here, right here, would wedge down here. Of course, I, I, I'm gonna epoxy it. So I was thinking maybe I can go ahead and, and do this. This is just a pre preliminary setup. Then, this other rock that I have here, also, if you notice here, the section here, I would probably go ahead and, and wedge it here. Let's see how I had it before. Okay. Okay, so that would wedge here. And then the small rock that I had there on the bottom, this would actually go, go here and I would have the tunnel. Okay, now again, I don't know if you can see it there, but here there's a indention on the rock. Okay, now here you have the, the outcome. This is what it would look like. Okay, now why did I decide to put this rock here. Well, if you go back to my previous videos, when I uh, went ahead and I did an uh, explanation about the rule of thirds, where you divide equally on three parts the tank, and uh, the intersection points are the points that are pleasant for a human being to view a picture or video. That's used in professional photography. 
Now, what happened is, why did I chose this? I, I could have not actually added this, this rock. But being, uh, if I use the rule of thirds, although like I've said before, all these rules can be broken, uh, it kind of would look like, here's the apple scape, then it goes down and goes up. Again, it can be broken, the rule of thirds. But finding it more, please, more uh, pleasing to the eye would be if I actually did this. You know, if I, let me put it back in its place, although I'm going to glue it, but just to give you an idea how it will, okay. There it is. You see, this would be more pleasing to the actual eye. So you have, uh, if you were to analyze this or get a visual picture of the rule of thirds, you would have here the, the fourth ground the middle ground and the background. The background always is going to be the highest, uh, uh, the point of focus being the highest in the middle and then your fourth ground. So like here, you have the fourth ground, which is the, the forward part, are the, the lower sections, the lower, when it comes, you know, using that theory here to the rule, to the rule thirds, uh, using it to aquascape. You have the lower ones, then here you see it cascades up and then it goes higher here and then it goes uh, consider this like the background, the, the dominating uh, piece. So this is what, what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and, and epoxy them together so they don't go uh, anywhere. And it looks like this will be the uh, final setup. So here we are. And if you notice, that's, uh, you can see the epoxy, how I put it right here on top. I put it on, on top here and also here on that rock. Then moving down here on this little piece, the same thing. I went ahead, I, I put epoxy there. I don't know if you can see the one on the bottom, but there's epoxy right there. And then going to the side. I also epoxy this little rock right there. So that's basically it. So now let me give you a, a complete pan of what it looks like now. There you have it. That's the final uh, aquascaping that I'll be doing on the Innovative Marine Nubo 40. This is uh, the final step, as I said, the next thing would be to actually um, start the cycling process. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll notice next to the subscription, there's a little bell. If you activate the notification every time I shoot a video and you have your notifications on, it'll go ahead and, and notify you that I just uploaded a, a video. And like I always say at the end of all my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.